Hello everyone and welcome to a special little episode of DRM Free Gaming. Today I'm bringing you uh, something that uh, let's say will kind of be a, a special treat for this channel. Normally I don't do this, I don't really like to play Minecraft mainly because it's quite ambiguous whether this game is actually DRM free or not due to some technical implementations in it which make it kind of difficult to classify as such like you you still need to have a Minecraft account or at least a, a Microsoft account to play Minecraft even in offline mode so that's kind of it's it, it's some people don't consider this to be the rm free let's say like it, some people consider this to be a game that uh, is a bit uh, has some drm locks in, in it and because of this i it, some might even debate whether it belongs on my channel or not so because of this i won't be playing this game regularly at least or at the very least not very often but since it is christmas i said you know what i might as well relax the rules just a little bit and allow it i'll at least make one video of minecraft and maybe make it even a recurrent thing that i will be playing each year around the christmas time so without any further ado let us get started let's call this world Christmas camp let's see now we will be playing in hardcore mode because I say I'm saying we might as well really I think that would be for the best since this is kind otherwise it would just be too easy for us so we will be playing on the hardest difficulty we also have some game rules uh, I'm not going to bother too much about that and let's just because I like it let's make the default type to be large biomes just because I like those so not, let us begin great new world so what are we going to do exactly with this I said that I'm planning on playing this around Christmas time each year and that's kind of what I want to to do and um, for now I believe that this first year what I really want to do is uh, build like a cabin-esque structure uh, in a mountainy biome a snowy biome that's what I want to do there's many reasons why I want to do this, but mainly because it's Christmas and in the northern hemisphere where I live, uh, Christmas is around the winter time, and because of this, I want to replicate the snow and the free freezing temperatures in game so that I may uh, use that as a reference. So, basically what you can expect is that this will be a single video i'm not planning on playing this game for multiple videos it's just going to be one really long video each christmas so this might i'm not i'm not sure how long this will be this could be three hours four hours maybe even five hours of content but it's only going to be one video i won't split this into multiple videos because i don't want to and with this We will, and what I want to do is, uh, we will uh, explore, we will try to find a, a, snowy a snowy biome and build a cabin there and then just call it a day. That's what I want to do. I'll have it be a, co a comfy looking cabin for Christmas and that's kind of the goal of this one video. Next year I'll find an another goal. To play as but that's that's kind of what i want to focus on at this moment so let us begin let's build a crafting table 
And now what I want to do, there are pigs and cows over here and that's, that's awesome. Now, there are many, there's many stuff that I want to do. First, we need to ensure survival. So let's make a bunch of sticks. And now let's uh, collect some cobblestone. Can we descend down there? Mm, I don't like this. Excellent. There's a spider over there. Which looks... Which kind of scares me, but I'll try to ignore it. So, we're f we're finally getting some stone. And with this stone, we will be making some stone tools for ourselves. Because those are objectively superior in this game than uh, wooden tools. So that's going to be our main focus for right now, at least. Now, I wish I... I got some, uh, oh crap, that does not look good, let's get outside, yeah there's a zombie over here, I will be hoping that the sun will get to kill him, yeah he did, which is quite nice. Let's... Can we keep on digging? Oh crap. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this area. So let's... Uh, let's move a bit around. We do not have the necessary tools. Actually, let's just place down the crafting table and let's build some at least a, a, a bit of stuff for ourselves i want to build two swords mm. maybe even some uh, pickaxes and some axes as well or i guess just one axe because i don't have any more cobblestone okay let's let's work with this we will need food for ourselves, so let's kill some of these creatures. Because otherwise we'll just uh, go uh, starving and I don't want to do that. So, main goal, let's locate a snowy biome. And build a cabin over there. This might be seen as animal cruelty, but you know what? I don't care. I need food. Otherwise, I'll die of starvation. Because this game does implement starvation. And you do not want to starve to death. I, also, I will also be needing some coal. If I'll be able to acquire that somehow. Oh, what the hell? Interesting structure. Uh, is there any coal around here? Okay. The creeper is gone. But, oh shit, there's another one. Yeah, I don't want to spend my time over here. Let's just move out. Come on. There's a zombie over there which I don't want to deal with. I need coal, goddammit. And I want snowy biomes as well. In fact, snowy biomes is my main priority at this point in time. <laughs> down 
the second one is down and finally the third one is down any coal around here definitely don't see anything so i'm gonna say no why is coal so rare it used to be far more common in this game I, I'll be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. Like the point of this is just survival for uh, as long as possible, but because this is a hardcore map, there's the real risk of us losing this entire world if I were to die. And I genuinely don't want for that to happen. But uh, you know, that's the risk of playing on hardcore mode, is that uh, you can always lose the entire fucking map if you just die. It's not a pleasant risk, but it's a risk nonetheless. And I'm, it's a risk that I'm willing to assume. Oh yeah, we will be needing sheep as well to make beds. So let's... Um... Oh, and I, I, I finally see coal around there. So that's useful. Any more sheep around here? Yeah, don't fall down there. Okay, excellent. Let's uh, let's start mining this coal because that's that's the main thing we want to focus on. Coal is almost uh, indispensable. And uh, I believe that this is iron, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got both coal and iron, which is a pretty rare combination. Or is this iron or is it copper? I can never remember. I think it, act it might actually be copper. Yes, this is raw copper. So copper is less valuable than uh, iron, but you know, it's fine the way it is. Let's keep on mining inside the side of this mountain. Just a second, I will be checking something really quickly to be sure that uh, the stream is actually recording and making sure that I'm not just wasting my time right now. Okay, so yeah, this is indeed recording. So, uh, well, we are not actually wasting our time. <laughs> it, it would, like, this wouldn't be the first time when I didn't press the record button. This has happened with Forge before. And uh, I'm not uh, particularly happy about that myself, so uh, I genuinely want to be sure that uh, that doesn't happen again. On, build, destroy the coal. So now we've got coal, and it's already night time. So we might actually have to uh, barricade ourselves in. Actually, we shouldn't even need to do that because uh, we have a bed. Or oh, wait, we do not have a bed. We need one more white wool. So we might actually have to barricade ourselves in, which quite sucks, but. You know it is what it is so let's build uh, do we have no we do not have enough cobblestone to make a furnace so let's just uh, get some more cobblestone for that excellent now we finally have a furnace and with this furnace we will be able to uh make some food for ourselves 
and with some of this other coal that we have wait i still need to get some more coal with some of this coal that we still have we might as well make some torches because torches are always useful so we've got 28 torches let's just uh, spread them around in this cave this is going to be our temporary base for now okay let's eat an apple in the meantime excellent uh, but, uh, please excuse me I'm back so let's see what we have we've got eight steaks St steaks and uh, let's cook the raw mutton as well because otherwise that's not going to be enough so having this as a shelter is not really that bad it's pretty nice we don't have enough food to remain to be sustainable for um, a really long period of time but uh, it should be enough for at least a couple of days I would say okay so now all of our food is cooked we might as well just uh, remove this excellent so we need one more sheep wool to make a bed and making a bed in this game is really useful not so much in hardcore mode because uh, in hardcore mode you just cannot respawn after you die so uh, even if you even if we were to die at some point we would not be able to use our bed to respawn at it the entire world will just get deleted so what we will do instead is uh, but the bed is is a nice uh, decorative piece of furniture though for our cabin so having a bit of uh, ha having a bed in our cabin feels almost like a mandatory thing to have might as well just grab some more cobblestone just to have it over here Okay, so it's daytime. We can continue our uh, exploration. It feels kind of horrible having to wait for nighttime to pass, but this is what we get for not having enough wool to make a bed, sadly. Uh, do we have a shovel? We do not have a shovel, so let's do this manually. Okay, is there another sheep that we can kill to get its wool? Because I genuinely don't want to go through that uh, having to wait the night out again. It feels like wasting time and I don't want to waste my time. We, would, we will also need to at some point find iron to make ourselves a, a full armor suit. Because otherwise we are extremely vulnerable at this point in time. Like we cannot, we can barely defend ourselves. Just a couple of arrows from a rogue archer would be enough to kill us. And that reminds me, I should probably eat something. I don't think I want to go there. Let's eat some water and flesh since we already have it anyways. This will allow us to heal ourselves. So there are some horses over there, some dogs over there. 
No more sheep though. Which is quite annoying. We might have also want to make a boat for ourselves to start exploring through the ocean. Hmm. Well, for now, let's just uh, let's keep on exploring the world for now. So we get more coal from this side. move out okay so recap we need to find the snowy biome let's see where we can do that oh there are some there is some iron over here or oh, wait no that's copper isn't it definitely looks like copper for a moment I thought I just got lucky and found some iron, but nope, it's just copper. I f forgot what copper was even useful for in this game. To be entirely honest. I guess copper is the new iron, it's really common. So there's another sheep over here, but it's a, of a different wool color, and we do not want that. Ah, there's more sheep, excellent. So more meat for our souls. We just need to kill one more sheep to get its wool, and I think it's gonna be this one. Excellent. So now we have free wool, we can make progress. Mm, let's grab some more coal for ourselves. I think I saw some coal over here, did I not? Yeah, here it is. The more coal we have, the better is go is it, it's going to be for ourselves. We need the coal in order to melt and uh, cook things. It's the primary source of fuel in this game. There are also so, uh, some other sources of fuel as well, but the coal is the most common one. Because it's the most abundant one. Now, is there any iron around here as well to build a set of our armor for ourselves? Because that would be fucking awesome. Travel through over here. There are some chicken over here, but not anything that I'm particularly interested in. Some more horses. Mm, let's cut down this tree. Just because we can, really. Oops. I, I, I pressed the E key by accident. Yeah, you're gonna be turning to meat, my friend. No offense, you've got a lot of fat and I need that. So, where are we heading? I don't, one of the most important things to remember, I guess, is to pick a direction and just go straight in line with that direction in this game because otherwise you might just end up running in circles and that's not a good thing so which direction is this? according to the game coordinates we're facing south so let's keep on going south 
because that's sooner or later we will have to find uh, a snowy biome and that's just the thing I'm looking for at this point in time there's some incomplete water generation to build a cabin we will need uh, to find a proper location for it and we do not have that just yet the thing about uh, large biomes is also that uh, it's quite difficult to find a biome transition because you have to walk a long way before you get to one of those because biomes are so much larger with large biomes I think they're four times larger in area than they would normally be in a default map type so yeah they're quite uh, huge might as well grab some more food nothing wrong with Ensuring our own survival We need the food for ourselves There are some pumpkin over there Can we just increase the visibility range that we're having video settings Render distance. Let's increase this to something like 16, which is a cool number because it's a power of 2 this way we can see more into the distance and it will be easier for us to, spa to spot a snowy biome, I would say. But now we need to get to a high vantage point to make use of that. What the hell is that? Is this a uh, honey? I think it's a honeybee hive. I don't want to deal with that. Let's climb this mountain. Might as well kill you. Man, pigs take three hits to die. That's quite an achievement for them. Wait, what? Which direction are we going now? We're still going south, which is good. I don't want to change the direction for whatever reason. So we're still in a plains biome as you can clearly see and that's not good for us we need something a bit better getting close to dawn time so let's um, let's see let's put down a crafting table and let's build a, a lovely bed for ourselves so like that and like that excellent now we've got a bed and let's prepare because I want to avoid having to deal with uh, with waiting the night out because they're just a waste of time. So let's see, which direction were we heading in? That's north, so we were heading in that direction, south. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's head there. So we're going south. Trying to find the mystical snowy biome, 
But if I'm not mistaken, it looks like we're going to be arriving at a jungle biome ra instead. From the way things look. Damn, that looks that doesn't look like what I need. Wait, is that iron? Did we at least get to find iron? That would be so fucking awesome. Yes, this was iron, but it's just a single chunk though. Not really what I need. But there's a bit more down here though. Yeah, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. The more I run, the, ba the better, baby. Any more? Anywhere else? Does it look like there's any more iron? Okay, so we've got some extra coal for ourselves, because coal is always nice. So, we don't really want to go through there. Do I... I said I want to stick to one direction, so technically I would have to travel through that jungle because of this. And I really don't want to have to do that. Oh, there's more iron? No, that's copper. So what I would like to do instead is just build a boat and travel by boat on top of this sea. I think that's just for the better. So we're grabbing some uh, lovely little uh, copper. Again, I forgot what copper was useful for, but, you know, we have it. And now let's uh, place down another our crafting table. And let's build a boat for ourselves. Excellent. Put this down. Do we have an axe? I thought we had... Ah, yes, we do. And let's travel. With this boat, we, it's, I, I believe it should be easier for us to remain in a consistent direction and uh, find the biome that we are interested in finding. So we're just heading straight on south. With the draw distance that I set in my settings, it should be easier for us to locate all the falls, all the biomes from a, from quite a distance away. But with that said, I see nothing of particular interest. Is there lava? That's lava spreading around there. Huh, okay. So nothing of particular interest just yet. And that looks like a dead end. I wonder if we can circumvent that somehow. Doesn't look like it. No snowy biomes just yet. I wish there was a compass, a biome compass, so that uh, the compass would point to the nearest biome of a specific type that you wanted. That would have been so fucking awesome. It won't, it won't really make any sense exactly how it would work, but uh, come on, that's gotta be fun, right? and be extremely useful. 
Let's grab our boat back and let's travel by land now because there's no more water for us to utilize. Oh, we've got watermelons. These are useful for, for potion making. You know what? I will grab one of these. Melon slices. Now let's continue on our merry way, on our quest to find the biome of interest for ourselves. There are some more sheep over here, but now I really don't need their wool anymore. I already have a bed. I guess I could still kill them for uh, making a carpet. But if you're in a cabin in the woods, you you don't really you wouldn't really need carpets. There's some cocoa uh, beans over there, so that we could uh, make cookies. But it, that's not really in the in the plans for right now. Mm. We're still heading in south, right? Yeah, we're heading south. So we did not change directions. We're still heading in a straight line. Just making sure that we're not running in circles by any means. Because we started out in a jungle. And now we're uh, going in an entirely different direction. Careful not to fall down somewhere. Mm. So this exploration session is really large. And this is a really large fucking uh, jungle. I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to think that maybe we made a mistake when we chose large biomes for the world the generation type. Because now all I can see is jungle around us and that's not a particularly good thing for us. But oh hey, we have uh, we have our iron at least. A little bit of iron anyway. So that we can build a set of armor sooner or later. Preferably sooner. So that we may not die as easily. If you're on hardcore mode, it's very easy to die. And it's very difficult to recuperate from death. Well, it's actually impossible to recuperate from death. Once you die, the entire world dies along with your character. And that's pretty much the end. You have to start from scratch afterwards. As insanely difficult as that sounds, it's actually pretty fair in my opinion. Tying the world to a single character makes sense in certain situations. What the fuck just happened over here? Why are there muttons everywhere? That's so random. Oh crap. Fuck off. So what we need is to explore a bit more. To be fair, we we haven't been exploring for that much up until now. It's only been like 40 minutes since we began recording, so there's still more time. More iron. Oh, there's actually a lot of iron. Holy crap, there's... A lot of iron and the emeralds. What the fuck? Now I'm starting to wonder if I really need the emeralds. Where's south? That's the, that's the south direction, I guess. So we managed to. We're close to building the equivalent of a full suit of armor just from. Uh, Oh shit, I just destroyed that block for no reason. 
because uh, I, I guess I needed an iron pickaxe and I did not know that. Okay, let's place down a bed and let's sleep. what we needed let's get the fuck out of here okay so where's the south direction this is the south direction so let's move on in this direction again there's another emerald emerald block just over there and this time i will be mining it properly because there's iron everywhere and I, I can afford to make a iron pickaxe. Excellent. So let's place down a furnace and let's smell the iron that we already have. Wait, I forgot that I need to... Yeah, just like that. We also have a huge amount of copper now that I look at it. From an objective standpoint. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so we got enough iron now to make an uh, iron pickaxe, so let's just do that. And now with this iron pickaxe, we can mine this emerald block, finally. And now we have one uh, emerald. Now, emeralds are useful in trades with villagers. Sadly, we will not be making that many trades, but you know, it's still quite something. Is that more iron? That has to be more iron. So more iron for us. Yeah, we're doing quite fine uh, iron-wise. climb back out here let's feed the furnace a bit more iron and now I think we have enough iron to start building our sets of armor that we desperately need so let's build ourselves a set of iron pants Let's build ourselves a helmet. So let's put that on ourselves. We are also needs a set of uh, of boots, preferably as soon as possible. Build our boots, iron boots, excellent. 
And now what we need is uh, iron cuirass, and it's yeah, that's that that should be enough afterwards. Oh, actually, and an iron shield, that would also be quite nice. So for the cuirass we need how many? Let's see. I think eight iron ingots, if I'm not mistaken. So quite a significant amount. Come on, baby. Almost there. There we go. That's all we needed to build the curus. Or, or however the hell it's called. Chest plate, sorry. We've got an iron chest plate. And now we have proper defense. Now can we build a shield? I forgot the exact recipe for a shield. Ah, uh, this is it. Okay. So now we've also got a shield. Let's equip that. And now we are ready. For better or for worse. We're properly equipped to absorb everything. Now let's cook some raw muttons as well. And uh, yeah, other than this, I think we're doing quite fine as far as resources go. Now we have a proper defense. I doubt we are going to die anymore just because. Uh, we're well equipped right now to deal with to absorb a lot of damage before we'll die. We have decent amounts of food to last us for a significant amount of time, and uh, yeah, we we already have the necessary means of travel. Now all that's left is to find the biome that we're particularly interested in. Now the question is, what will we, uh, what will we do once we do build a cabin? Because um, the honest to God answer is that I have no fucking idea. Even if we do build a cabin somewhere in the woods, will we be able to survive there? for any amount of time because we will still need food food is still a resource that you constantly have to worry about in this game when you're playing in hardcore mode you'll always have to wonder you know am i prepared to eat am i prepared to to survive in case i will be on the verge of starvation like these, these are questions you constantly have to deal with and right now i don't have any answer for them so even if we the, the issue is that with, with snowy biomes, you don't really have that many options. You don't really, you can't really, I mean, you can build farms if that's what you want, but uh, you, there, there's barely any food out there for you to survive with. Uh, uh, snowy biomes are one of the most devoid of food resource biomes in, the, in this entire game. So, if we are going to build a cabin somewhere in a snowy biome, we have to take into consideration the fact that we might not have the, f f the food. Um, we might not have any source of food immediately around us once we do get there. And that's something that we will have to cope with. Okay, so all of our food is cooked now. And you know what, I'm starting to regret the fact that uh, 
that I ignore those cookies because that cocoa could have been useful. So uh, I will retract my initial uh, assessment that cookies aren't just useless. And I will, uh, if I were to ever see Coco again in this game, I will make an active effort to take it. Are we still in a jungle biome? If if so, we can still extract co Coco. Also, is it becoming night time? Why is it so dark? Jungle log, yeah. Okay, it's it's getting night time. Let's rest for now. So that we can avoid more uh, damage. Aha, so there's the cocoa. You know what, cookies are a, an important part of Christmas. So let's, let's grab the cocoa beans. So that we will be able to home grow them once we do build our cabin. Okay, so let's move on. Let's uh, let's grab some more meat because that's always useful. Come on, chicken, give me your meat, raw chicken. That's useful. Okay, let's move on. More cocoa for us. How, ma how many jungle logs do we have? Not enough, I would say. Let's let's deconstruct more of these trees so that we can keep on growing cocoa once we have a cabin over there, so that we won't be entirely devoid of any food. Cookies are not ideal, but they, at the very least, they are sustainable. So are we still heading south? Yes, we are still heading south. That's a good thing. Let's eat some food so that we can recover. Because frankly, I don't have, I don't want to worry about, uh, you know, death. So this is going to be a Christmas theme game, I guess. That's kind of when I, I want to do it. Oh baby, this is going to be a, a huge survival endeavor. Try not to die by falling, because that would be quite pathetic. Okay, so now that pig only took two hits to kill, I th and that one took three hits. I don't know how this game calculates the the damage that you're doing.
more jungle logs for us. We only have 33 jungle logs, that's not a lot, but you know, still better than nothing, I guess. We're still surviving quite well, and with the full suit of armor that we're sporting, I would say that is going to take a really huge amount of un really unfortunate damage for us to die at this point. And it's beginning to rain, which is quite annoying. Come on, just a single snow biome. That's all I need. That's all I want. This jungle biome is never ending for crying out loud. I don't see an end to this at all, and we're still heading south, right? Yeah, we're still heading towards positive X. We're at ready at 3500X. Like, that's proof that we walked a really long way. And we are no closer to getting to a snow biome than we were when we started off this entire journey. Which is really frustrating for me. Is that a bamboo stick? Definitely looks like one. Why is there jungle literally everywhere? I heard the creeper. I don't like creepers. Still heading south, still heading south, that's important. Oh god, that's a huge ravine, we do not want to fall in, th in there, that's for sure. more iron over there but that's not immediately important for us we already have more iron than we already need like with the amount of armor that i have i don't think i will be dying anytime soon Jungle biome is not ending at all. Not even one little bit. If we can fall on that tree, we still took fall damage somehow. Any chance for a snow biome in that direction? It doesn't look like it. My god, this is a 
large map. Or oh, there's more iron over here, so I guess we might as well. There is nothing we can lose by collecting it, but except for time, so we, we might as well. And even more iron over there, Jesus, why is there so much iron? Like initially there was absolutely no iron around us and now there is just a lot of iron everywhere. I guess it's due to the biome change. Like right now we are in... Uh, oh, we are in a forest biome. Okay. You're heading south, baby. Can we sleep? Looks like it's about time to sleep, so let's just do that. Excellent. Even more iron for ourselves. And even more iron over here. So just the iron in full abundance, baby. I don't need more coal. Let's just move on. Heading south. So we're still not running in circles. We're heading towards a spe very specific direction. But we're still not making any progress. Due to the game being very stingy with its snow biomes. For whichever reason. Even more jungle. God damn it, man. Change the fucking biome already. What the shit? Is it even possible to... Like, how much fucking jungle can there be? I, I, I'm, I'm fine at least at some point. I already got my cocoa beans and my jungle logs. But now I, all I want to do is just find something else already. Jesus. Do we need pumpkin pies? I mean, that's kind of Christmassy, isn't it? Might as well get some pumpkins going. Can this be decomposed into seeds yes it can be that's all i'll need excellent okay so there's more water on that side i want to explore a bit more remove this I am already starting to run out of inventory space though like that's pretty concerning that's it and now let's go in and start exploring again with our boat sooner or later we will have to get to a biome change and hopefully it's going to be a snowy biome afterwards we 
because right now we're kind of running out of options. Uh, which way, which way? Let's go through here. Because this is south, right? Yeah, it's south. So we're still maintaining the south way. I thought there was an emerald block for a second. Where are we going? I have no fucking clue, man. Hmm. At least it's not an endless ocean just yet. And this looks like a dead end. Or wait, is it? No, it's not. We can still explore through this way. jungle on that side more jungle on that end as well so no not much use it continuing on that direction Excellent. Let's uh, let's grab our boat and let's continue by foot again. Sooner or later, we, ladies and gentlemen, we will be getting there. I don't know when there will be, but it's going to be some point. We have not been running in circles at the very least. I can confirm that. So, uh, if I. Uh, I, I believe the rule still applies in Minecraft that if you run in a straight line, sooner or later you will pass through every single biome that there is. Damn. So it's going to take us just a bit, but we, we will get there. Up until now we've only been getting forest and jungle biomes and high mountains, I guess. But that will soon change. I'm optimistic about that. Still south, right? Yes, yeah, still south. More water for us. Ah, oh, and is that the end? Uh, 
Oh, not yet. Not yet. There's still some water that we, that we can travel on. But I think we're closing into an end over here. This is a pretty lovely spot, actually. Yeah, let's stop over here, grab our boat, and let's make more progress. We are approaching sunset again, so we might, we will have to keep that in mind. Oh, and there is a village over there. That's quite cool. I guess we'll have to pay them a visit. So we will have to sleep at some point. It's getting dark. We will be vi giving these villagers a visit. So let's do just that, but first, let's sleep. We skip the night, which is the best thing that we can do at this point. This is our first village that we found. And it looks quite peaceful. Sadly, this isn't what we really needed. But it's quite cool, either way. They even have an iron golem to protect them. That's quite nice. There's a cat as well. Not really my thing, but quite cool. snowy biome just yet god this is a huge endeavor I don't want to be here. Let's retreat back. Another villa just over here. That doesn't look like it's leading anywhere nice for me, so let's uh, avoid that. This is quite an interesting place. What's in this house anyway? A bed. That's about it. Meh. Yeah, 
Is this south? No, this is east. This has to be south. So we have to head more into the jungle once again. What's in here? Another bed? Meh. So let's keep on heading south now. Come on. this fucking mountain already mm. a lot of roses over here This this is a long one. We're in for the wrong call, baby. This this is not gonna end very soon from the looks of it. Like we're just in the middle of a fucking huge forest. And I don't know when we'll be able to exit this. Like just look at how much forest there is all around us. With no near end in sight. Still heading south, yep. I guess south is my south is my preferred direction, my preferred cardinal direction. And we've been heading south for a while now. What point are we on? We're at seven thousand and 400 uh, almost 500 almost 7500 coordinate like we've been traveling 7000 blocks away from the spawn point and we're still nowhere near where we should be and the game just keeps on generating blocks and it's not generating the biome that i wanted to Quite amazing how how far we have to travel just to get to where we want to. All I want to do is build a cabin in the middle of a snowy field. I thought that would be a nice Christmas present from me to you. In a game like Minecraft, which is pre is a pretty nice game, albeit with a bit of DRM on it, but it, still otherwise fine. I genuinely thought that I could make this work. What biome is this? This is a savanna plateau. Okay. So my theory about eventually getting to travel through every single type of biome is proving to be true right now. We finally found a different biome. Oh my god. Holy shit, this is huge. This is a huge fucking map. Sadly, this isn't the type of biome that I was looking for, but you know, it's still better than what we've been having up until now. There's a mushroom uh, village over there. Yeah, let's see if we can descend onto the river.
Yeah, let's eat something and now let's uh, grab our boat and let's travel. So that's the south one. Sadly, we can't travel anymore south because the river isn't going in that di up direction. So for now, I'll just follow this river. River. But the river seems to be heading north now, and I don't like that. Can we all start going south again? Well, it doesn't look like it, but uh, it's kind of... The, the the ground seems to be becoming quite leveled, so uh, let's start walking by foot again. There's another river over here that we can use for transportation. I think it's getting dark again from the looks of it. How much food do we still have? Yeah, we, we've still got plenty. No need to worry about that right now. Yeah, let's sleep. This is like... What day number is this since we spawn? Does it even say that? Day seven. So we've been the equivalent. We've been up until now the equivalent of one week in the, in the game since we spawned. So it's been one week since we spawned, and we are still uh, trying to find the proper uh, location for us to to build our cabin in the in the snow field so we're we're not doing quite well but you know slowly but surely more meat please there we go yeah let's just follow this river again Doesn't look like we'll make progress any other way, so let's just head continuously head southward, and sooner or later we'll find snow. That's my hope, at least. It's been like two hours since we started playing, and we're still having difficulty locating a, a snowy biome. biome is this D 
this is a river. Well, I guess that's true. We will be approaching our destination sooner or later. Are there any sugar canes around here? Now that I think about it, like I, I, if we took a pumpkin, we might as well make a pumpkin pie. But for that, I believe we also need sugar, and I don't think I have the sugar canes necessary for that. I'm sure I traveled past some sugar canes up until now, but the thought just never crossed my mind up until now. I think that's something we, we will have to worry about sooner or later. Yeah, let's just put down our boat. Savannah biome. <clears throat> and still heading, still heading south. That's good. So much wilderness. If there's one thing I will give this game is that it has some truly marvelous and spectacular huge maps. Like this game has that going for it. Like the entire biomes are just humongous. I guess that's also part, uh, partly due to me selecting large biomes in the world generation menu before we started playing but then does this feel large This game is so large. 
so yeah as far as the drm thing is concerned i'm not gonna go too much to gripe about this game because i just don't think it's healthy but um whether it's drm free or not like i said is kind of a point of contention for some people you do need a minecraft account or a microsoft account to be able to play it and you do need an internet connection initially to download the game but that's kind of the case with GOG games as well as well as with any game that's DRM free and then afterwards you can just disconnect from the internet and the game will uh, technically from what I understand allow you to play offline even without an internet connection which is which is good but the other point of contention that I worry about is if you if you were to take the game files from my computer like the Minecraft game files and put them on an entirely different computer that's disconnected from the internet would I be able to start the game on that second computer because I'm not entirely sure if I can in theory, if I couldn't, then this could be a DRM implementation in which the game checks to be sure that it's run on one single computer. And that's not, uh, that's technically not cool. That's, that would be something I would uh, definitely classify as DRM. I'm not sure if Minecraft does that. So this is this is a point that needs to be clarified by some people but if the game would allow me to copy my files from one computer to another without the destination computer being connected to the internet and it would still allow me to play the game on it then that's you know that's the RM free and I support that so I'm not entirely sure if it is fully the RM free or not at the very least I'm pretty sure you can disconnect from the internet and still play it so this is the reason I still feature it in, on my channel but uh, as for the copying thing I'm not sure just yet so uh, I can't really rule out the fact that it may not be fully DRM free and that would be an issue let's kill something so that we can get it from it oh my god this is taking such a long time. Wait, isn't it night already? <sighs> Why is this not in my uh, hand? Mm, not in my hand. Why is this not set in my uh, other hand? Like, I almost have no more slot, free slots available for myself, like, I desperately need extra, extra slots available, so I really, really need to make that cabin already, but I don't know where to even start. Doesn't look like the game is one is willing to make this any easier for me. So we still have some water. So yeah, this is becoming quite the issue. Oh 
Come on, let me climb. No snowy bow biome just yet either. It's like I'm one of those people who make Minecraft videos about their journey towards the end of Minecraft. Minecraft is a procedurally generated game, but uh, there is technically, I believe, a limit to how far you can go in any direction on the map. Eventually, you will hit a, a wall. But the map itself is pretty large. So much so that you almo will almost never reach that hard limit of the wall, the margin, unless you deliberately try to search for it. Naturally, you won't usually come across it. I hear lava, I see some more villages over there. Still no snowy biomes just yet. I think this entire video I've only be that's the only thing I've kept on repeating that we're still not in a snowy biome. I'm sorry for being for for constantly repeating the same thing, but that's that's the goal that I've set for myself, and now I'm a bit fr frustrated that I'm not even reaching it. I've traveled almost ten thousand blocks away from the spawn point, and. I still have not gotten to a snowy biome. Like that just seems a bit incredible to me. I wonder if this process would have been expedited had I not uh, selected the large biome mode for map generation. If I would have just left it on the default generation type. Maybe it would have been easier that way. I don't know. Okay, let's just... Climb over here. Why is there a zombie out here? There's another emerald block over there. Whoa, where did you come from? Fucking zombie. And now we're in a stony peaks biome. More iron for us, even though that's wholly unnecessary. Okay, 
Where are we going? Oh, even more emeralds. I don't even know why, why I'm bothering to get these emeralds. It's not like I will be using them for anything. I guess I just li like them because they're pretty. More iron. We might as well finish using up the stone pickaxe that we're having right now. Okay, so that's still south. Uh, even more emeralds. How many emeralds do we have up until now? We've got five emeralds. That's significant. Oh, there's still more to explore. God damn it. Look at this shit, look at this shit, look how large this map is. And keep in mind, we've been traveling for around an hour. You know what, I think I might just not even construct the cabin. I think what I will, like this, this video for, for DCL will be just the journey towards the biome that we need, towards the snowy biome. God damn, that's, that's a huge hole in the ground just there. I didn't even imagine that you could have these types of holes in the ground in this game. Already level 12. Almost level 14, honestly. Which in this game isn't that uh, great. Most people can get to this level. over there let's eat some delicious cooked mutton we are slowly replenishing our health as well in the meanwhile I think we're, we kinda have to start thinking about going to sleep again. Where's our bed? Here it is. My, my main fear at this point is uh, arriving at a, at a, a, an end to the world and by that I mean the beginning of uh, let's say a, an ocean barrier like let's say I keep he heading south and I keep walking south until I get to the shore of an ocean and then once and then I can't continue onwards because 
it just looks like the ocean extends into infinite and then there's the obvious question for myself of you know do i put down the boat and start traveling into the ocean because then there's the issue that i might just never find land again if i were to and because of this afterwards i w if i get to the ocean up, up the end i i wouldn't know if to place down a boat or if just if then i would just have to stop going south and pick a different direction obviously i wouldn't go north afterwards because then i would be retracing the paths that i would i did just to get there so i would have to pick south or i would have to pick east or west to travel to and that would suck because I, I i've been traveling south for such a long time and then i would just have to switch to an entirely different cardinal direction just because there's water in my way that would really suck but i i've been in situations in this game in which i put down a boat and i start traveling towards the the ocean traveling uh, into the ocean and then never finding land again and then just remaining stranded in the depths of the fucking ocean and when you're stranded in the ocean you're kind of screwed in this game because there's very limited options for you to get food and due to this you will almost always you know uh, uh, try to find a, uh, a land to to disembark on so that you can start searching for food and that's if you're lucky to find land if you if you won't find land the only source of sustenance you can get is by what the hell are you the only source of, of of sustenance that you will have available for yourself is just genuine uh, is just fishing so you will need the fishing rod to provide yourself with the fish necessary for sustenance and even the fishing rod has a limited lifespan most of the time anyway i believe you can enchant it for longevity and i don't know if you can make it have an infinite lifespan if you can have if you can make it have an infinite life lifespan then you would could in theory survive in the ocean for an infinite amount of time but if you cannot do that then so sooner or later your uh, fishing rod will get used up and consumed and then you won't be able to fish anymore and then you'll just be stranded without any sources of food for yourself and you'll eventually starve to death which would really suck in the grand scheme of things so that's something you have to think about before deciding to put your boat down and beginning to travel on the ocean it's usually not a good idea oh there's another emerald you know what we might as well make it uh, six emeralds six is a nice round number it's a nice even number yeah we've got six emeralds now i like even numbers i like them more than odd numbers there's no real reason for that, it's just a, a, a psychological thing. Let's eat. Oops, wrong, uh, wrong button.
Do we have any more mort, uh, mort flesh? I don't think we do. Which kind of sucks. How much? How many uh, uh, cocoa beans do we have? We've got 46, and we've only got 43 jungle logs. So we've got more uh, cocoa beans than we have uh, uh, jungle logs. That's usually not a good idea. Still traveling south, as we have been for the past two hours, maybe even more. Still no end in sight on our quest on finding the uh, the mysterious snow biome that I've been trying to get to throughout this entire game. God damn, is this going to be a large fucking recording? I just don't know what else to say. Like this is this is going to be a huge fucking endeavor. I know I keep repeating myself, but there's nothing else to say really. As you can see, this game quite can be quite unforgiving. Ultimately, it's all based on luck. Like the number, random number generator decides how it's going to generate the world around us. So if the random number generator decides that the direction we picked is not a good one for finding a snow biome, it's just not going to generate a snow biome in the near future for us. To be fair, I haven't been traveling in a fully straight line. I haven't been heading just south. As you can see, I've been heading southwest or southeast just so that I can uh, avoid certain obstacles like mountains in my path. So it's not been just a straight southward uh, walk. But even so, like I still... Uh, uh, I still uh, predominantly been trying to head south as much as possible and uh, as you can see that's just not enough. My biggest fear now is that we might just not find a snow biome before I get tired. I, d I don't know how large I want this video to, to be. What the hell is that? I said that I don't want it to be longer than 5 hours and I'm planning on keeping that promise. So if this this ends up being um, a, a 6 hour video or something like that then I'll, I'll just stop at the 5 hour mark. What the hell is this? This is an incomplete nether portal. with a bunch of iron nuggets and an enchanted golden sword with smite 4. When in main hand it has 4 attack damage and 1.6 attack speed. Quite nice. But I don't want to... I don't want to... I, I don't want to spend my time with that. Quite nice that it generated but not my thing. So the large uh, radius of view is quite helpful. I can see something in the far distance. I can see a structure of some kind. I don't know if I should head towards that or not though. I would rather say that I don't want to head towards that because I'm kind of scared that I might just be become uh, attacked by something that I wouldn't um. want to have to deal with. Is this still south? This is still south. Um. Yeah, it looks like a mansion. What the hell? Uh, I, I, 
Why did you spawn so early? Let's sleep. Okay, let's continue on our quest. Put down a fucking uh, boat and let's move on. I know I probably should go into that tower or whatever the thing it is, but I just don't feel like it, honestly. It's not what we're looking for at this point in time. What we are looking for is still a snow biome. And that's, we're not uh, close enough to that just yet for me to feel comfortable exploring. So, a snow biome it is. This is going to be a really long video for my standards. Usually the videos on, on my standards are between 10 to an hour, 10 minutes to one hour long. Depending on what I'm recording. It depends on the type of game. If it's something like Art of Rally, if it's one Art of Rally episode, it's usually around 10 minutes. If it's one Binding of Isaac episode, then it's a, it's a semi-successful Binding of Isaac episode. It should be around one hour. But Minecraft, Minecraft is one of those games that you really want to get to sink a lot of time in. Just because it's a large game. With a lot of stuff for you to do. So I think I'm reaching that uh, ocean dead end that I was particularly scared of. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do if I do get there. It's probably not going to be a good thing. Although it's not a dead end just yet. I can still see land. There's a dolphin somewhere. that another tower This is the south direction, right? Yeah, this is the south direction. You might as well disembark here.
Let's eat another mutton to replenish some of our health. And let's move on. I can already see a village. The exploration continues. This might become a multi-part series. It would be on every Christmas I'm traveling throughout the world to get uh, to find a snowy biome to build a, a cabin on. That would be so fun. And each Christmas people will just watch my videos and be curious what I encountered along the way. Like how many villagers did, did I encounter? How many strange structures did I encounter? How, how many stuff? Wow, there's a lot of emeralds in here. Is it right for me to take this? I, I, I don't know if they will hate me for that. Hopefully they won't. I'm a lovable guy. My sword is also getting a bit worn out. I might have to build an iron sword at some point. We're still heading south, right? Yep, still heading south. Just making sure so that I don't uh, make mistakes. There's another tower just over there. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just head towards it. I'm getting kind of bored constantly exploring. We might as well see what's inside those towers. Although I would, I would definitely hate it if I were to die. But that would make a... Uh, that would make a funny end to my video. So, you know what? Let's just let's just go for it. There's another village just over right there. I don't know what these towers are for, honestly speaking. Oh fuck, I recognize those banners, those are not the banners you want to see. Oh fuck, yeah I knew it, I'm not supposed to be over here, let's just move the fuck out. Those are just a bunch of wild villagers that are just defending their territory. So let's avoid them at all costs. They'll leave us alone soon enough. Oh crap, no. Let's grab some more meat for ourselves. Just to be sure that we're not going to die of hunger anytime soon. Because you know, that's a constant concern when you're in playing in hardcore mode. We have just arrived. No, this isn't a proper volume yet. Let's eat a bit more. And 
let's kill another pig because food is an important resource uh, god damn it he had a child sorry kid you'll have to grow up as an orphan happens to the best of us you'll be able to deal with it I'm sure oh that's a sea turtle let's sleep for now oh boy <laughs> and let's go on an adventure That's another incomplete nether portal, apparently. Is that a desert? Holy shit, I think it is. We might have... Oh no, it's actually just shore. Shores in this game are always sandy. I don't think it's a desert. Would be cool if it was though. It means that biomes are actually still changing. Which is, is a nice indication that we're making progress. Would be a nice indication that we're making progress. Still heading south, baby. Yeah, it's n there's no desert biome over here. These are just the shores. What the hell is this structure? What the hell is this? I have no fucking clue. Honestly, I don't think I want to know either way. Is this the ocean dead end that I was so worried about? I think this might be. Yeah. If we if you if we are going to head into the shore we might never find land again. And I'm definitely worried about that. Yeah, it looks like we're heading towards the fuck the ocean at large. We might never find land if we go through this. I think I'm going to turn back soon. I don't I I don't trust uh, going in this direction anymore. We've been heading south consistently and that has not been helping our cause at all. But at the very least we found some sugar kings. That we will be able to use. Wait, I think I see land in the distance. Oh, is that land? I don't know what that is. Let's see what these are. Oh, it's a fucking. No, this isn't land. This is a. This is a shipwreck. And we have the possibility to explore the shipwreck. Although is that land? No, that those are just small villages. Not not villages. Small uh, small islands. 
Yeah, so one of my worst nightmares has come true. We're in a bad situation right now because we're out at large at sea and there's no no uh, no land in sight. Just small islands. Really really tiny islands. Although, wait a second. Where is this land connected to? Is it just an island? Definitely looks like an island. not connected to anything none of these are yeah I was afraid of this this is a bad place to be in there are some still some more islands in the distance but I don't think those are going to help us in the least although it seems that that's a pretty large island if it is an island. It's even got a tree. But yeah, it's just an island. Definitely just an island. Yeah, so we're heading towards nowhere. That's just water in that direction. I keep on uh, moving because I, I'm hoping against hope that we'll find something that's actually land, but... Uh, yeah, no, this... We're not heading anywhere. We're just heading towards the shore at large. And if we want to, we can travel by... By... Uh, by boat for as much... For as much as we want to, but it's unlikely to ever have uh, any beneficial impact on us. There are some more sugar canes on this island, so we might as well get these. Anything else worth investigating? Oh, there's another shipwreck and another island over there. Might as well see what's up with that. And then we will return afterwards. Because there's nothing else we can do over here. So now we've got significant amounts of sugar canes. We will be able to bake a pie. Especially with if we will be able to grow uh, pumpkin pumpkins where we'll be living at but yeah we've been heading south for quite some time now when we haven't made any progress with this which really sucks
Yeah, let's head back north until we get to the shore again. And once we get to the shore again, we'll fight. We'll decide on a different cardinal direction to focus on. There's another shipwreck right over there. So we're heading north again. We will get to the shore of the continent and then we'll decide on heading probably in that direction, which is east. Personally, I don't have a uh, preferred cardinal direction, I just go with whatever I find. But it's getting quite late and we might have to sleep. I might be too late to get there because once I do get there I might just uh, not have the... Like mobs will, will already have spawned on the land so I won't be able to go to sleep. So that would, re that would really suck. But that's a realistic outcome in my opinion. It's definitely feeling like uh, I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. Even though I know I'm heading towards a continent again. So soon enough we should be finding a lot of uh, land in front of us. Preferably sooner rather than later. Okay, there's the land, I can see it. We're definitely approaching it. Or what, what are those just islands? I can't really tell just yet. You know what, even if they're islands, I'll try to sleep on them. Just so we can uh, clear out the world from mobs. There we go. So let's keep on heading north. It's another incomplete ne um, nether portal. And there are the fucking continents. Yeah, baby. We finally made our way back. I'm not going to, s to swim towards the fucking ocean because I don't want to spend the rest of my time finding land again. So now since we got back to the continent, I'm genuinely wondering to myself which direction should we pick to start traveling in. Apparently east isn't an option either because there's nothing towards east, but maybe I'm still not too far into the sea to be able to make that judgment just yet. We'll see. Yeah, I'm st this, this still isn't the continent, this is still just an island, apparently. 
We still have a long ways away to go. So unfortunate that we've been heading south for such a long time that there's just no... Uh, there's literally just no, uh, no more land for us to travel on. That really sucks. The fuck is that? What the hell is this? I guess it's still it's an incomplete nether portal or something. Because it looks like it's made of obsidian. And some more incomplete stuff. I don't know how the random world the uh, world of generator works, honestly. But man, I've been traveling for a long time now and I still didn't get back to the continent. the motherfucking deal we finally got back to the fucking continent after such a long travel why is there a chest in the middle of nowhere yep some more obsidian flint and steel and uh, Right weighted pressure plate with a golden pickaxe. Not really my style. I think this is the continent. Yeah, this is the continent. Okay, we finally made it back to, to land. Now let's pick on a different direction. I'll start heading eastward. Since apparently south eventually leads you to an ocean dead end. So east it is. We've traveled south as much as we, we could, but now it's time to head east. Now I'm still heading north because apparently east is also an incomplete third direction. There's o ocean towards the east side as well. Although maybe not forever. Yeah, maybe eastwards is a better direction. Okay, so let's disembark and let's start heading 
Do we have the boat? Yeah, we do have the boat. So let's head, head east. This is the, our new south. This is where we're supposed to be going in. East, north, east, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going down there. I'm heading north again just because there's nothing really useful eastward that's not an ocean. So I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not feeling that particularly happy about it honestly. I kind of want to head eastward through my boat again but I'm worried that I won't be getting anywhere again. But let's see. Let's see where traveling east will get us. Traveling south led us to the ocean. Let's see where traveling east will lead us. Maybe there w there is more land over there. We've been playing for two and a half hours already, which is uh, half the time I, I allocated for myself. If we do not uh, find the a snowy biome by the by the five hour mark, I'm ending this video as it is, regardless of where we of where we will be at. That's all I'm seeing. Yeah, it looks like it, there's ocean on this side as well. For no good reason. So east isn't an, a viable option for us either. But maybe I'm wrong, let's see. So that's north, this is east. I think I can almost see land, but it's still under the water. It's amazing how unlucky we have been with our choices. It's like we didn't even... If It's not just that we picked south and south ended up with water, with having a water barrier. It's that we also picked east and east came out the same way. 
like there's a water barrier that's preventing us from uh, proceeding. So we're kind of both at the south and the east extremities of the continent. So I guess the only responsible thing to do is start heading west instead. Because I don't know how much longer I can go east before... Uh, oh wait, I'm heading north right now. Now I'm heading east again. Like I don't know how much I can head north before I lose my mind. Because there's water literally everywhere around me. Yeah, this isn't good. We're not heading in any proper direction. Let's head back west and then we'll decide where in which direction to pick up again. This is the west direction, right? Yeah, this is the west direction. Let's head back west to so that we can get to land again. So we can't go south, we can't go east anymore. That really sucks. There's the continent again. So let's instead go west now. And if both south, east, and west are have ocean barriers around them, then that just means we were in a in a, a peninsula, and this is the reason why we we're encountering ocean barriers everywhere. And at that point, we'll just have to head north, just just so that we can avoid the ocean entirely. Heading north is not ideal because we've been heading south intentionally up until this point, but, you know, we're doing what we can. So let's head west now. Hopefully we'll make progress like this. Let's see where the west of direction will take us. So we're right now at 14,149 uh, Z coordinate and uh, we're heading towards negative X from this point on if we're planning on going X so uh, yeah that's that's probably going to accumulate really fast but you know we have to make progress somehow 
so let's see where heading west will take us from this point on we'll be heading west in a straight line i will be heading west, west uh, northwest just so that we can avoid an ocean as quickly as possible because oh god fuck me fucking ravines man fucking ravines so yeah let's let's head south uh, sorry not south uh, west because south we all know is going to lead us to the fucking ocean again at least where we are all at this point in time so we know that we cannot trust the south direction anymore it's quite sad that we've been heading we've been heading in that direction for such a long time only to end up at an ocean burial but you know it is what it is you cannot uh, uh, predict these things they are entirely random in this game so uh, yeah just head in whichever direction you want and hope for the best that you'll get to the biome you want I cannot believe the snow biome oh my god there, there's a fucking snow biome holy shit I can see it I can see it with my own fucking eyes. Is that a snow biome or is, this is that just a mountain biome? And the more important question is, do I, do I really want to care? I mean, there's snow. Technically, I would rather take a snow biome than a mountain biome. Because mountains just... I guess they're kind of Christmassy, but they're not the ideal type of biome that I was looking for. But... You know, it's it's kind of close somehow, and I don't think this game has mountain biomes like this. Wait, is this snow actually? Definitely looks like snow. Which biome is this? God damn it! After such a long exploration, we ma finally managed to find what we were looking for. Like, I definitely see snow, I see ice. Let's ask the game what, this, what, what biome this is. It's a grove. I don't know what a grove is. But this... This is look this is looking Christmassy. I'm not going to lie, this is looking kind of Christmassy. What why was that? I saw something moving over here. Are there villagers over here? Ah no, it's uh, it's a creature. An animal frozen peaks okay so this is a mountain it's not really it's not the proper snow biome that I was looking for though it's just a frozen peak although if we keep on heading in this direction I, I see a forest I think we're in the right direction at the very least. I think we're in the right direction. Okay, we're... What the fuck? What just happened? Oh god. Oh god, no! Don't let me die! Oh crap! Okay, just... Fuck! I, I, I did not know this was possible. Oh, this is such a disappointing ending. I'm really sorry, everyone. I, I, I definitely tried. 
I definitely tried to make this work, but sadly, I, I, I was not expecting for this to happen. I didn't know, know you could freeze to death like this. So I'm really sorry. This Christmas special is going to end in a really sour note. But you know what? It was a fun. It was a fun experience. I, I'm planning on making this a tradition if I'll be able to maintain my channel for a really long time. We will be calling this Minecraft Christmas, and uh, I will be playing Minecraft. I will be uploading a Minecraft episode once every Christmas. So each Christmas year you will see a new Minecraft uh, Christmas episode. That's my expectation at least. Hopefully we will be able to make f better progress next time, next year. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know how this will work out. But uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.